Please take it away. <laughs> All right, everyone. I'm uh, happy to be here and I'm pleased to be enjoying this great uh, weather in Luxembourg. You know, it's a great uh, venue with a lot of people. Uh, familiar faces, new faces, it's great to be able to learn from each other. And I think, I mean, wouldn't that be a pity if uh, I was giving a lightning talk and I only have five minutes, but I take my time to just talk about random whatever things. Get on with it. And I wait for the red card to just uh, start my presentation to just, you know, uh, start to understand what it's all about. Uh, so I, I don't know, I think that'd be an interesting uh, challenge to take and just, in a way, reduce the, the time we're having together just to be in a, in a rush when it's time to talk talk about the real things. And also it's a way for, you know, those people here to come here with a drink, enjoy life, and right? This guy's getting no drinks. So I'm yeah, you, if right. he doesn't get off here. So I don't know, I think it's an idea, right? We can, we can try that and uh, just do everything in a minute, right? What, what do you think? Uh, you finish. Yeah, all uh, right. Next, so. next speaker, please. <laughs> <laughs> right. So um, I, I, a few, a few uh, weeks ago, I, I built a tool that I use for myself uh, that I called uh, P-Craft uh, because I like Warcraft, so why not? Um, <laughs> And the idea is to uh, just, like, I'm in a situation where I built a lot of tools and I also want to test tools and I want to understand how things are. And I'm always like, uh, what an attack looks like. Like, really, like, you know, I know phishing is like that, but in practice, if I would have a pickup of phishing, like, uh, how would you find that? So you just Google, you try to find your stuff, and, and you don't really find the things you're looking for. So I'm like, I'm just doing that for testing purposes, right? I want to see how it reacts in some situations. So I'm like, mm, how about we just uh, write a tool? that uh, takes a YAML description here. Uh, why YAML? I mean, why not? Uh, and uh, and creates, and that tool would just use a SCAPI to generate the PCAP out, and I would just do whatever I want. So I have a loop here, and I start right there with a function called generate a domain. So that function is a plugin that's called generate a new domain, where I just take two words, I just match them up, and I just check that that domain does not exist. And I, I can push the uh, the thing to the next plugin called the DNS connection. And then I want to loop. I want to say, all right, now I'm just doing a DNS connection because that's the next step. And then the following step is just, you know, having all those DNS connections coming up 10 times. Uh, uh, actually, in that case, it's three times. Uh, every time I'm doing a DNS connection, I'm going from a new IP. And I want to sleep three seconds before I start, uh, 0.2 seconds in between every DNS connection. And when I'm finished, I want to sleep 0.3 seconds. And then I can either go to the next step or I can just stop there. So that's the idea of the tool here. So the tool is the following. Um, basically, um, I have pcraft.py and I'm just going to run the example we've seen. So it's a simple, um, hello with a hello.pcap. And I can just relax and enjoy a demo, that's a working demo, amazing. Um, so I just loop and loop and loop, as many times I, I told it to, and then I can just run a Wireshark on that uh, pcap, and I can just see what I just did based on the script that you've seen. So right now, you can see here, there's a connection that's uh, coming from every time a new different IP on the domain that I have generated, uh, which is right here, which is just a combination of, of two words right there. So sometimes you have some surprise, but in that case, not. And uh, it's easy to just write the model. That's the whole idea. So I'm going to show you how, how that is. So in the case of the uh, DNS connection model, I just do some uh, init, I get a random IP, or I can get my IP if I have, you know, if it's set up based on a loop plugin, and then I just get a server IP that's random, or I use a fixed one, and then I just use a SCAPI to generate the uh, DNS frames, and I just attach the loop, and it's as simple as that. So let's have a look at how much time do I have. You have like one minute. You see, that's perfect. I had the time. 30 seconds. TCP RST. <laughs> so in the case of a TCP RST, I just generate my uh, scene RST hack, and that's it. That's a TCP RST. It's as simple as that. You just create your plugins, and that's right. 
I have a minute, so no, what no, can we talk about? No, thank you guys. <laughs> Perfect.